Fans of mixed martial arts absolutely love it when their favorite fighters create headlines, as this not only gives them more of a personality, but makes them far more accessible to the public. That being said, this love has caused quite a few fighters to fly off the deep end, resulting in an eventual arrest for which they have become practically infamous. But who are the top MMA fighters that have been arrested so far, and why did they end up getting arrested in the first place? Well, whether you're a fan of the intense sport or just want to hear about the craziest things MMA fighters have done without being canceled, you've come to the right place, as we're about to take a look at the biggest MMA fighters and their histories with the police department. So buckle up, ladies and gentlemen, as you won't believe what you're about to hear. War Machine First up on our list is a brawler who appeared on Season 6 of The Ultimate Fighter back in 2007. Born Jonathan Paul Copenhagen. Fans of the show and MMA in general might know the man better as War Machine, who made a bit of a name for himself by losing his initial elimination fight, but then striking a knockout blow in the season 6 finale show just how powerful of a fighter he is. It's pretty tough to be a fan of War Machine though, as he has time and time again found himself on the wrong side of the law. Shortly after his appearance on the show in 2007, War Machine was charged with aggravated assault when he cornered a man in a parking lot before punching and choking him out. But that's nothing, as he was arrested three years later on a felony assault charge after being involved in a slew of bar fights. Sentenced to a full year in prison, War Machine even found himself in solitary, being characteristically unable to control his anger even while behind bars. Then, in 2014, War Machine did something that no man should ever do. After discovering his ex-girlfriend in bed with another man, he beat both of them within an inch of their lives, causing his ex-girlfriend to be rushed to the hospital with 18 broken bones, missing teeth, and a ruptured liver. This resulted in him being sentenced to life in prison for over 29 felonies included but not limited to the charges of kidnapping and sexual assault with a weapon. And while this might not sound like too much, you'll be surprised to hear that War Machine still has fans on the outside claiming that he was wronged by both his ex and the various other members of society against whom he committed these atrocious crimes. Suffice it to say, War Machine definitely left his impact on mixed martial arts as a sport, causing many to use him as an example for the type of person the sport should stop putting on a pedestal. John Jones Jonathan Dwight Jones, who is more affectionately known as John Jones on the circuit, is an American professional MMA fighter who currently competes in the light heavyweight division of the Ultimate Fighter Championship. Currently 33 years old and born in Rochester, New York, Jones is pretty used to the spotlight and has on many occasions made himself known in the octagon for his heavy hooks and amazing footwork. But like any other fighter on this list, fame and fortune hasn't exactly been kind to the man behind the legendary name. Back in 2012, for example, Jones crashed his Bentley into a telephone pole and was taken to the police department under suspicion that he had been driving under the influence. He ended up pleading guilty to this DUI, but since nobody was hurt in the process, the judge decided to give him a break by allowing him to avoid any jail time. And it's a pity too, as this could have avoided the situation Jones was in a few years later. In 2015, he got into another accident by running a red light, causing a three-car collision. Involved in the accident was a 25-year-old pregnant woman. And what makes these actions of his worse is that rather than checking on her, Jones decided to flee the scene, most likely because he was drunk at the time of driving. Curiously enough, Jones was seen running by some eyewitnesses who saw him return moments later to grab some cash out of his car and then flee once again. After after turning himself into the police, Jones was sentenced to 18 months of probation. A year later, the MMA fighter was arrested for drag racing charges and for illegal modifications he had made to the exhaust of his vehicle. This resulted in fans of the fighter losing quite a bit of respect for the man, who on release of the police officer's body camera footage could be seen cursing and calling the police officer out for being a liar. Not exactly the greatest role model on the circuit, if you know what we mean. Nick Diaz By far one of the oldest fighters on our list, Nick Diaz is known within the world of MMA for taking part in some of the craziest contests around. Born Nicholas Robert Diaz in Stockton, California around 37 years ago, the fighter has since 2001 competed in the UFC, Pride, Strike Force, Elite XC, World Extreme Cage Fighting, Dream, and Shuto to name just a few illustrious competitions. But he has always had trouble replicating his success in the octagon to his own private life. Diaz was arrested in 2018 on domestic violence charges, which were dropped later that year, causing the case to be dismissed. The police report filed in connection with these charges told the story of a woman who claimed that Diaz's girlfriend at the time, after an argument, took place in the early hours of the morning. The woman claimed that she had been hit by Diaz, who had then decided to push her aggressive
aggressively into a pool. Police also noted that Diaz was incredibly aggressive with them when they went to cuff him. This was, however, shown to be unsubstantiated when the body camera footage of these same police officers showed Diaz to be completely compliant to all their demands. The footage further showed that Diaz maintained his innocence the entire time, informing officers that he had done nothing wrong and was a hard worker just looking to get by in life. And as it turned out, the woman in question was not his girlfriend at the time, but actually a stalker who was frustrated after not being able to meet with the fighter, calling the cops and making up allegations to get attention. Unfortunately for Diaz, MMA fighters do tend to have a bit of a reputation when it comes to breaking the law, which caused officers at the time to take the side of the woman who had no injuries to back up her allegations against the star. So, while he did indeed get in trouble with the law back in 2018, it's true that he did absolutely nothing wrong to deserve it. Rampage Jackson Quentin Ramon Jackson, otherwise known as Rampage Jackson, is an American mixed martial arts fighter who was born in Memphis, Tennessee a whole 42 years ago. And while most modern fans recognize him for his appearance on season 2 of Rob Diedrich's MTV show Ridiculousness, it must be said that he has been fighting in the octagon for years already. And with an attitude such as his, it's no wonder the fighter has found himself on the wrong side of the law at times. Surprisingly enough, it wasn't the charge of assault that first got the man arrested, but a police chase back in 2008 which went on for quite some time and saw Jackson colliding with a number of vehicles and nearly hitting quite a few pedestrians. It took several squad cars, motorcycles, and a police helicopter to finally bring Jackson to a stop. As a result, he faced charges including felony evading, reckless driving, and hit and run. According to Jackson, however, he was delirious at the time of driving because he was convinced that his friend was about to commit suicide. In his words, I didn't eat. I couldn't really eat. I tried. I couldn't sleep. I probably slept here and there one hour, 30 minutes here and there. And I thought that the only way we die is by willing ourselves to die. Doesn't sound very convincing if you ask us, but at least nobody was hurt in the process. A woman did, however, try and sue Jackson in civil court, claiming that his collision with her side mirror resulted in her having a miscarriage. But without much evidence, it was found that Jackson had nothing to do with her loss. That being said, a lot of people could have been hurt, and the police department did have to spend a fair share of resources to ensure that Jackson didn't end up doing any further damage, which could have changed his life. Life and those of pedestrians around him drastically. Conor McGregor. And last but not least on our list, we have the one and only Conor McGregor, whom next to everybody in the world knows for his famous boxing bout with Floyd Mayweather back in 2017. Although not considered by many to be a professional boxer, McGregor is an Irish professional MMA fighter who has been able to grab the title of champion in both the featherweight and lightweight division. Currently only 32 years old, McGregor has been ranked at number 15 as far as pounds per pound rankings go. He is currently 6th in the world within the featherweight division. Probably the most infamous of McGregor's run-ins with the law took place when he threw a metal dolly at a UFC bus containing rival fighters before UFC 223, resulting in him being charged with three counts of assault and one count of felony criminal mischief. His so-called hissy fit also resulted in a few of the fighters being injured. The most memorable of these injuries was against fellow fighter Michael Chaisa, who ended up filing a lawsuit against Conor McGregor for the Brooklyn bus attack, as it later became known. Conor then got into trouble once more in 2019, when he snatched and stomped on a fan's cell phone before walking away with it. Apparently the fan was just trying to take a picture of the fighter, but ended up with a smashed up phone instead. As a result of his actions, McGregor was charged by the police department with felony, strong armed robbery and criminal mischief, but posted bail shortly after getting arrested. Later that year, the MMA fighter found himself in hot water once more, when footage was released of him punching an old man who was just trying to enjoy himself at an Irish bar. According to eyewitnesses, McGregor retaliated after the old man declined McGregor's offer to buy him a shot of proper 12 whiskey. Once more, however, McGregor was able to avoid jail time and paid a fine for his actions instead. Did we miss out on your favorite MMA fighter? Feel free to let us know in the comments section down below.